it could be a dangerous, powerful thing to to have lots of our life taped because then like that's like time and mm -hmm. that's yeah. like influence growing mm -hmm. in a way you know because it's like wow it's all this time we've spent with these people in a way yeah uh, or they've spent with us and they've spent with us yeah something like that if we're doing a pillow talk we should have put our sound stuff but it's okay is it filming yeah I didn't turn the screening on. Oh, yeah. Put it in the same position as it was before. Mm. Yeah. We already talked about so many good things. Like the whole cat colony and all that. Yeah. There's a lot of... <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting like super self-conscious of like filming stuff. <laughs> no, it was just like, it was this moment of, yeah, well, we just set all this gold. <laughs> like, now I just want to like release it in a cuddle. <laughs> That's okay too. realized last night that cuddling is like this really therapeutic um like almost forced mild stretching like you know because of my back issues and stuff I went to sleep with a ton of pain and then throughout the night I kept waking up and in these slightly stretched positions but it's like there's this positive reinforcement of, oh, but contact. And it's like, even if it hurts my back a little bit, like it's worth it because I'm getting so many yummy endorphins just by holding you. <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. yes. Cuddling as physical therapy. <laughs> yes, exactly. Oh uh. my gosh. Really, that should be more of a thing, because it really is physical therapy. It really is healing. Every time we sleep next to each other, I wake up with a, in a much better physical condition than I went to sleep. And it's counterintuitive, because we sometimes get in some contorted positions. <laughs> gave me an idea also when you were telling me about um, that acting teacher who does the video response things. And I was thinking, what if we hosted a group that did something similar, but not even necessarily with acting, just maybe more like kind of an occupational therapy type thing where like we just give people the opportunity to be filmed doing what they do. A, it would be amazing for actors who want to feel more comfortable on film because their lives are being filmed. B, it's this, or, or any artist really, like being under the uh, pressure of a camera. Um, to feel more comfortable where they are and also to have that visual and perhaps community feedback um, for what they're doing. Like if we got together for like a weekly circle 
or something, and invited people, filmed them, and reviewed them, just in an open conversation. Maybe we start with two, and then see how it grows. People? Yeah. Uh, us. <laughs> but, well, yes. Yes, we are two people. <laughs> yeah. I feel like people... so abstractly about people <laughs> <laughs> when people. and that even just using people <laughs> it creates a separateness of other and I feel like things really start by by doing mm -hmm. and inviting others to join mm -hmm. by doing and simply leaving the door open behind you mm -hmm. there's something also there in um, intention to and like like because, like, I shared that idea with a couple people at work at the Balloons, and, like, they were artists as well, in some capacity, and they were like, oh my gosh, that sounds amazing, I would love to participate in something like that, you know, and it's just, it's just that having the clear intention, and, de like, defined purpose, and structured space, I feel like people respond really well to structured space, whatever that means, like, you know, prompting people for the next two hours, this is what you're going to be doing with your life. Mm -hmm. Like, that's really, I don't know, healing or um, satisfying or tangible for people. 